I don't think you'll ever forget the, the, the trauma of that moment. I was actually watching television when they showed the second one. It and we didn't know what was going to happen. The events of 9-11 sent shockwaves throughout the country. The Texas A&M football team had started the season 2-0, and going into an off week, football was the last thing on their mind. But when their scheduled bout with Oklahoma State arrived on September 22nd, players, coaches, and fans were ready to get back on the field. We wanted to show that we, we wouldn't let uh, this type of activity disrupt the American life that we know and love, and that we would go on in spite of this great tragedy, that we, we had our jaws set and by dang we were going forward and this country was going forward. Known as the red, white, and blue out, every deck of Kyle Field stood tall with our nation's colors. Uh, that's a moment that uh, I think anyone that watched that game, that saw that picture, who have seen the picture says, what is this? And so we, this was the uh, reaction to 9-11, the show of patriotism that, that the students and fans of Texas A&M, and I would have to give some credit to the Oklahoma State people that went along with it. And when you look at that picture, you see red, white, and blue. The idea was all the brainchild of students at Texas A&M. For them to come up with the idea was remarkable. Uh, not surprising for A&M students, but remarkable nonetheless. I would make the case that Texas A&M would be the only place where you, that would be possible to get that done. Nine years later, A&M continues to honor those who lost their lives in the attacks of 9-11 and those who responded when their country needed them most. Well, I, I think it's appropriate that we remember the people that uh, responded to that situation and uh, the dedication they had and the sacrifice they made in their families that many of them literally gave their lives trying to help other people. And that level of patriotism is something that should never be forgotten in this country. And I think it's very appropriate that we pause to reflect on that and to respect and remember those that, that stepped up so valiantly at that time. <laughs>